Hello guys, in this After Effects tutorials, I want to show you how you can create this revelation style logo animation. We're going to be doing this without the use of any snap plugin, so stick around, let's get started. So these tutorials was demanded by a subscriber on my YouTube channel and he brought up this idea and want me to show you guys how to create this type of style. So you can leave a comment below telling me the kind of tutorials you want to see in my next video. So now in Adobe After Effects click to create a new composition. So we're going to hit OK directly because any setting will do for this type of style. So navigate to where you have your logo and your file so you can click and drag the logo and the BG file right into the project manager window. So we're going to drag and drop the logo and the file that we just brought in into our timeline. So select the logo, control shift C to pre-compose it. Then you move all attributes to the new compositions, then you hit OK. We're going to right click and then go to layer style and then add overlay color overlay color option on the timeline then we're going to change this color to somewhat gold then you hit ok so we're going to right click again go to layer style and then add bevel and emboss but before we make any changes let's pull this in a bit so that we can see what we are doing on the size option make it 12 right click on the logo again go to layer style and then add an inner shadow so let's expand the inner shadow option first we're going to change the color to white then we're going to make the opacity 85 make distance 10 and then make size 8 so right click again go to layer style and then add satin so let's expand the satin option as well so what we're going to do now is select the eyedropper tool here let's pick the yellow side of this color then we're going to go into the color steel and change it to the darker of dark gold then you hit the ok select your logo again Control shift c on the keyboard to pre-compose it then call this metal make sure move all attributes to the new composition is checked then you hit ok Control d on your keyboard to duplicate it so we're going to hide the top one then the bottom one we're going to search for the effect called tint then add a noise effect we're gonna bring up the noise quite a bit this is okay right click on your timeline go to new and create a new adjustment layer search for the camera lens blur and then add it to the adjustment layer so we're gonna go into this and crank up the blur radius we're gonna go to these tools right here and select the ellipse tool so we're gonna come to the center hold control and shift to draw a perfect mask from the center right here so we're going to set the mask to subtract and of course we're going to hit f on the keyboard to drop the feather set the feather to 150 right click on your timeline go to new and add a new solid layer make comb size and then hit ok so we're going to still go to this ellipse tool and double click it. That is going to create a mask around here. So what we're going to do now is to set the mask to subtract. And then we're going to hit F to reveal the feather. So we're going to set the feather to about 500. At this point, we have to unhide the other logo duplicate. On the BG, I'm going to hit S on it and make it 150. Right click then go to new and create a new uh, null object select the BG select the metal logo the one we made a gray scale then select the top logo as well then we're gonna make them a child of the logo control so select the logo controller hit S on your keyboard then go to five seconds forward in time and set a keyframe for the scale then come back to zero and make the scale value 500 so now move forward your time indicator then we're going to select the ellipse tool again and make sure no layer is selected on your timeline again you're going to create a cycle on your timeline like this you can hold ctrl and shift to keep it perfect we're going to add a gaussian blur to this 
we're gonna uncheck repeat edge pixel then we're gonna crank off the blur amount we're gonna move our time indicator to zero and then select the shape layer hit s on your keyboard to reveal the scale property then we're gonna set the scale amount to zero and then set a keyframe for this so we're gonna move our time indicator to about six seconds forward in time and we're gonna set the scale all the way so that we have it fill our screen and set a track mat for it that is going to help us reveal the logo as we proceed forward you see that which is exactly what we need at this moment so the next thing we're going to do right here is to select this adjustment layer that has the camera blur so we're going to hit m and make sure the mask is okay it's visible on the timeline so we're going to come right here set a keyframe for the mask part then we're gonna double click on the mask then we'll move our time indicator forward in time then we're gonna scale this all the way up so this is okay now let's select the metallic logo that is the one that has the true color we're gonna control d on the keyboard to duplicate it that is gonna retain the mask for the shape layer so we're gonna select it right here the bottom one then we're gonna search for the effect called cc radial blur so let's set the type to straight zoom we're gonna set the amount to 60. To get rid of these hard corners you see on the blur, so we're going to change the type to faded zoom. That fix the issue. So what I'm going to do now is to randomly animate the center to create a movement toward the end. So I'm going to go all the way up right here right click on the timeline go to new and create a new adjustment layer then i'm going to search for the effect called cc light rays select the center of the cc light ray move it into position where you can see it so we're going to crank up the uh, intensity to 200. what i'm going to do now is to move this particular ray from beginning to the end i'm gonna animate the center so that will create this uh, light leak effect from the behind i'm gonna duplicate the bg ctrl d on the keyboard to do that so i'm gonna add exposure effect to the duplicate so i'm gonna crank up the exposure just create a light form like this i'm gonna draw a simple mask like this this is gonna form a form of light shining through or across the animation so i'm gonna hit f to reveal the feather i'm gonna crank up the feather quite a lot so what you're gonna do now is to hit mm on the keyboard so that you can see the mask part set a keyframe and then move, move the mask across your screen so after i have added all of that glue and the light movement so the only thing i did here was to duplicate the bg again to create a hard shadow for the logo so this is the preview and i had to drop the resolution significantly so that i'll be able to preview while i am still recording but you can check out the final result this is it so this is how you can create this revelation style logo animation right inside Adobe After Effects without the use of any third party plugin. If you learn something new on this video, please hit the like button that will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me in the comment section and I'll reply to all questions as quick as I can. If you like the video, leaving a comment is all a support. So in whatever way you're able to support me, I highly appreciate you. So until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru for Motion Digit Studios.